Things will get better soon. You may have seen those fragile words of hope on a Facebook post, or maybe from the media or our world leaders. But for me, there's something really special about seeing the phrase etched in chalk on a sidewalk. Sometimes the shaky hand of a child offers what even the most powerful people in the world can't, real, warmth, inspiring hope. Our lives during this coronavirus pandemic have changed drastically. Those working in the medical field face what in many places feels like a war zone, and others work tirelessly to keep essential services running. We ache when we hear that people are suffering from this virus. We hurt even more when we learn that people are dying alone. In the face of all this tragedy and the everyday hardships, it'd be easy to allow a fear-induced paralysis to lock us on the couch. But in the midst of fear, one of the best things we can do is give thanks to God. We can follow the Apostle Paul who sat alone in a jail cell when he wrote to the church at Colossae. As he closed his letter, he told the people to devote themselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. Although they suffered, thankfulness of all things made Paul's list of priorities. When we voice our gratitude to God, our perspective changes. Instead of focusing on the things that make us afraid, we fix our eyes on the kindness of God, even in the midst of hardship and loneliness. And with that perspective shift, God increases our capacity to love and to notice more things for which we can give thanks. God, through His Holy Spirit, takes our small offerings of thanks and He multiplies them. I pray that you find something to give thanks for today as you receive God's loving embrace.